Hey everyone, it's Elaine and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to show you my newest design team project for Sweet Pea Curiosities. This is the Mermaid Folio and it was a lot of fun for me but I have to say putting it together made me scratch my head. <laughs> um, but Marissa will give you um, kind of like a detail sheet on kind of how to piece it together and then from there you get to play and create and everything. So real quick I'm going to show you. Um, we've got some pockets and she gives you all kinds of ephemera and let's flip again and again all kinds of goodies are in the pocket and here's a little flippy do and here's some more um, ephemera and then some more pockets and then this is a little pocket here and then we come around and there's some more pockets and then we flip to I don't know if you want to say this is the back side and then there's some more pockets and some more pockets but isn't it cool there's all kinds of stuff now this one right here I see I probably need to trim a little bit I got a little squeeze going there but all kinds of ephemera does she give you and of course you can always add other goodies let me put that down in there I'll have to tend to that and here we go again now that was a quick go through so I'm going to do it again um, all of these like I said are her digitals it's the mermaid folio and I mean they're just great detail and now I will say and I hope you can see it in this video um, I have been printing on presentation paper with the presentation paper setting okay and I'm just looking at my fingernails I've been working in wax and I've been dipping paper in coffee kind of a mess here um, so it does come out much more brilliant and the other thing about the presentation paper or sometimes I'll use photo paper but it's the matte finish they are usually either 44 or 45 pound weight alrighty um, and that's what I used here and that way when you go to put the front side with the back side it's of a pretty good weight um, if you just used regular paper you would have to I think in my opinion have a layer in between so um, she gives you plenty of pockets she gives you all kinds of um, ephemera that is mermaid or sea related I mean look at that that is so pretty to me um, but anyhow that is my folio I mean look at that and I did have a lot of fun I did this while I was attending um, a retreat a little bit more local than what I normally do it was a group of 10 of us and uh, yeah we had fun no actually back up it was only eight of us and we did it for uh, Thursday Friday Saturday Sunday Monday and this is one of the projects that I got finished and uh, that's it so at this point in time also I know this video is quick I will list down below where you can find this digital again on Etsy it is Sweet Pea Curiosities go through her digitals there are so many when you see them you're gonna say oh heavens I don't know which I want to buy I want to buy them all and I understand that um, I have bought so many of them myself it, it is funny but I love it I really do love them she does great I want to take this moment to um, also invite you I have um, as I have in the past I'm involved in doing a, diff a couple different types of retreats. Here in Georgia, I do four of them. Um, you can reach out to me and I will be glad to add you to the group. It's called Crafting and Chatting and it's with Lori and Elaine. And we do four here, like I said, in Georgia. And it's all kinds of crafters. And then I also, right now, um, and I'm close to getting full, so I'm going to throw that out there. But I still do my junk journal retreats. Um, I have actually changed venues. And so now I have room for more people. Um, and, and 
you know, it's it's fun. We focus on junk journals and mixed media. But again, you can do any kind of craft you want. I do things maybe a little different than everybody else. Um, we have some activities that you kind of need to prepare for. But it's fun. Um, it's called Creative Crafters. And uh, you can't find it anywhere. I, what I do is, as I do the group, I put that group up on Facebook. And it's just for those that attend. And we pretty much keep the chat to a minimum. And it's all about the retreat. So again, if you are interested in that, I do that in northeastern Alabama. And um, I would be glad to have you. So, um, provided I have the room, like I said, at this point in time, the one for, um, the next one is kind of filling up. But anyhow, back to the folio. Um, if you have any questions or you ever need any help, um, reach out to me. I love it. And, uh, you can find me on Facebook. I have a group, a page, and then my own personal one. As I said, I also have a Facebook, um, retreat group that I do with Lori called Crafting and Chatting with Lori and Elaine. I'm on Instagram, Twitter, and Pinterest, and I do have a small Etsy shop. I'm trying to get better at Instagram. So anyway, I've rambled on enough here, and I'm going to let you go, and hopefully I will see you next time. Catch you going down the road. Bye.